skin mashed all over the dashboard and I scooped it up with my hands and I said, this was your daughter, man. Welcome to episode number 31 of the Michael and Marty podcast. We are coming at you live out of a forest. F- forest. It's a double F. A f- forest? A Gryffindor forest. And we are not talking anymore. We're going to do this whole podcast in mime. So if you listen to this on Spotify, go to our YouTube channel, Marty and Michael, for the actual subscribe because there's not many. All right, let the miming begin. <laughs> and that was the uh, this week's shit talk. So if you want to uh, see that, you go to our YouTube channel, Spotify. Don't fuck around anymore. We're not we're not fucking around anymore. We're, you you what? You're just listening. Go and watch it. Okay. Yeah yeah. You're 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 in a place where you can't really like watch a screen. Well, if then, you're driving. Fuck it. Well then, make time for it. Like wake up earlier or go to bed later. Like lie in bed and watch it. Just just go to the YouTube and see what we just did. Because honestly, that'll never happen again. And you, if you want to. If you want to consume that content, you don't want to miss that. What we just because we just told a story about the time we were fifteen. I feel sick, man. I feel sick. I've had too many beers. Right. Yeah, that don't uh, just get on get on board because at the end of the day, it's Oprah Winfrey's birthday again, and she's seventy two today. Dude, she has three a year. <clears throat> Happy birthday, Oprah. We know you're a big fan of the show. And she's actually um, the one who sent us all these plants. Michael's mopping up urine that he's just gone and pissed down his legs. and Which we know is something that Oprah loves. So there you go, Oprah. <laughs> a gift right back at you. <laughs> uh, right back at you there for the, uh, for the plants. So <laughs> uh, let's call it even, shall we? <laughs> Also, on this day in 1353, at 6 p.m. on a Wednesday afternoon, it was raining and stairs were invented. Yeah, before it was only elevators. No, no, before that it was just inclines, hills. They just put hills and shit. Is that how they came about? Yeah, that's just how they went upstairs. They just put a hill there. Fuck. Fuck. And now there's stairs, so like that's fucking good shit, man. And that happened today, a couple of years ago. So fuck me, that's great. Keep inventing stairs and shit, man. Because at the end of the day, you don't know where you're going to be. Could be downstairs or upstairs. Yeah, well, it's changed everything. You don't, there's no more levels. It's just you are there or you're not there. But it's stairs that divide it. You know what I mean? Nah, dude, I'm feeling up. I'm just mid. Know what I mean? Yeah. So like, piss away. Michael's just still mopping up mm. urine from down his legs. He's pissed a bit on the seat, and he's actually using a tea towel to do that. And he will use that in the kitchen later <laughs> to dry dishes, to you know, mop up food off the hey, counter. They're, they're cups that you drink coffee from. So yeah, it's 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 all going really well. Yeah, we're in a good place. Yeah, as as we've heard, well, it's the same night as the last podcast. We're just repeating it. We do two every night now. Marty's still, he's still coughing up blood. Yeah. But he doesn't have cancer and like, what's it called? Pneumonia. That's nothing. Unless you're old, that's fine. So you're in a good place too. We're all, we're all well. Well, liver's still a bit... Yeah, struggling yeah, but yeah but anyway. doctors don't know shit these days yeah that's days. so true doctors don't even know what like um like they don't even like if you told the doctor to build a house it'd be like what what are you talking about and so, that's practical like yeah he would have no idea how to build a staircase build a fucking house so like whatever you know you just got to take it with a grain of salt these are the people that tell you what's wrong with you but they can't can't even build a table or a stairs <laughs> that's that's the end of the uh this week's shit talk which of course leads us into our our first proper segment which has been renamed to oh the pizza's here 
Ooh. And this it's a strange name for a segment, I know, but this is just a segment where we read uh, fan questions. This is the dominoes that we prank call every week. We actually gone and finished an order. This is huge. This is mon mon okay, mon this, this could be the title. This could be the title of the podcast. It could be we order pizza from the place that we prank call every week. This is from Lockie underscore McKillop. And uh, McKillop is spelled M C K I L L O P. Mm. And he is asked. Is it hard work being the best? Great question. No. When you are something, it's not hard to be who you are. It's just you are. You know what I mean? Well, it's uh, like asking someone, oh, is it, is it hard to be tall? No, it's not hard. You just are tall. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's, it's who we are. So no, it's not hard at all. We don't even try to be the best. We just happen to be the best. So... No, to answer your question, no, it's not hard at all. And if you're trying to be the best, you aren't the best. If you're the best, you just are the best without even trying. Because if you try, then you aren't that, right? Well, if you're trying, you're automatically not the best because you have to try to be the best. And the best people in the world don't even try to be the best. Know what I'm saying? There's Marty and Michael. Bruce Willis is maybe a centimeter underneath. And then Ian Thorpe. Yeah. Ian Thorpe is... Yeah, yeah, he's... No, I reckon he might be on par with Bruce. No, nah, he is under Bruce Willis. There's um, Kathy Freeman. And Jackie. Jackie, just... Yeah, you... Is anyone named Jackie? They're pretty cool. Bruce Willis is the only one I'm competing with in my mind. What and that's all question? I think about. Who Like, why are you the best? Or yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. It's just, we are. Next. All right, next question is Kevin Cawthra. Cawthra is spelt C-A-W-T-H-R-A. Seven. And he's asked, are Canadians a bunch of polar bear riding moose ass fuckers? No. I, every Canadian I've met has been rad as fuck. I've only met 14,317 Canadians, so I can't really comment. But those that I have met have had sex with bears. This one's from Kalian Dot McDonald. Hey, it's me again. Haha. <laughs> I come up with shit ideas, but I'll try. Um, can you talk about what it is like getting swooped by magpies and what it felt like? His worst fear is magpies. When I was a little boy living in a country farm in Australia. What what was the Clifton? The- I was walking home from the shop with some lollies in my hands. My house was like 100 meters away. And the magpie started attacking me. I ran, I ran. It was like a super aggressive magpie. It had me pinned to the ground. Like if I if I stood up, it would hit me in the head. And I was like just screaming, covering my head. And my father came out with a, an illegal gun and shot the magpie and they're protected so it's highly illegal clipped its wing and it fell to the ground and then he came out and grabbed it by the legs and slapped it on the road and killed it and told me to get inside so ever since then I've been a bit uh, traumatized from magpie attacks and uh, (coughs) so when a magpie attacks me it feels like a um, hot knife being driven into my spine and I uh, bleed Funny story with magpies, and I will not name the cousin. Fifteen. When I was under ten years old, and I, I, I wasn't. I said no to this, so it's not my fault. He did it, but he, I guess, had a hate for magpies, as did your father, and he would get bread and scrunch Panadol up into the bread, and then he'd feed the bread to the magpies. And if you feed a bird Panadol, which is like a painkiller, like a common painkiller you can get from your chemist, it, it, what would happen is the magpie would all of a sudden he'd be disorientated, act all weird, get real whacked out, and then like it wouldn't explode, but the the stomach of the magpie would just go and expand That's and fucked up. blow up a bit. So he used to do that, and I saw it once, and it scarred me. 
but I'm fine with them. I liked the videos, the science videos we did for humanity on magpies. That's why you're feeding them bread after the video. No, no, I didn't have... Oh, he didn't want me to... Yeah, maybe... Um, no, that was my cousin. That. I won't name him, but if you feed birds Panadol, their, their um, stomachs go... They expand and they, they don't... Oh, don't they, do that, though. Don't yeah, yeah. do that. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's why that's why magpies are horrifying, and a lot of people have horrific magpie stories. A guy it's, died. Yeah, yeah, a guy yeah. died not that long ago because he was trying to get away from one, and he slammed into a fence, fence. or some dumb shit. The fucking yeah, yeah. He old. wasn't good at riding, and he's bes- yeah, Tall guy. not good at dodging. Stupid fuck. Um. All right. Next questions from underscore Jack or Anson underscore. Have you ever used your pubes as floss before? No, but we have smoked pubes uh, for a video. I've smoked Michael's pubic hair. <laughs> and, um, yeah, you did. We didn't floss our teeth or anything. Um, but yeah, it's not that big a it's, deal. Yeah, it's, it's, it makes you feel sick though. Don't do it. We do this so you don't have to. I think. Next questions from Phoebe Chatfield 27. Who's the smartest out of you both? Uh, Matthew Brown from Wholesome. He's got an IQ of 172. No, 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 no. Out of us two. I used to pay Marty. What was it? $50 for to f- complete an assignment and $100 if it was an A. <laughs> and there was and one time. lie to me <laughs> about the grades that he got because he didn't want to pay me the $100. But then my mum told him on a later date, oh, thanks for getting my... No, she was like, she didn't know that I was you are paying me, but she was like, oh, Mock has been doing really well. He got an A in his last assignment. And mm. Oh, really? Really, Michael, you got an A? <laughs> Fucking lying dog. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, maths is hard. So if you can find a cool friend to do it, do that. All right, next question. <laughs> this is from HM Frace. Why are you guys so good? <laughs> Fuck me, these questions are spot on. Actual really good question. I've been meaning to answer this one for the 15th time. So what happens is uh, like you, you're uh, you're born, right? And some people have a certain set of skills some people are just born they're good at cooking they're good at drawing they're good at singing some people are just born the best and it just so happens that the talent that we were born with was uh being really good and being the best at everything and also just being like just overall like the best fucking biggest legends ever so that was what we were gifted with and uh we didn't practice this skill. I didn't ask for it. Oh, we didn't we didn't practice. We didn't there's nothing we said or did. We were just we just were this good. So at the end of the day, you're born with it. If you're not born with it, don't fucking try. Don't f- just fuck off. Find what you're good at and then stick with that. If you're not born with the being the best thing, then don't try and be the best. You can be Maybe fourth or fifth best. There's, there's, that's respectable. Like Bruce Willis is almost there. Well, oh man, he's on par, I reckon. So like, it's down. yeah. Some people, it's just yeah. It's just whatever hand you're dealt. But don't complain because some people aren't the best. But then they're like good at, you know, doing dishes or some shit. Like you're the best at getting into your mum, out of all the sperm, and that's one thing. But then yeah. you've got to deal with the world after. Mm-hmm. All right, last question is from Semi with a double M dot two one zero eight. He's asked, "Have you ever been so high from shrooms that you saw Santa Claus and started giving out free presents to public in the name of science?" Well, no. But should we tell about our shrooms experience, like the times we've done, sh- or the worst, weirdest time we've done shrooms? Yeah, yeah, we've done shrooms many times, but yeah, we haven't had that exact scenario. But yeah, I have. What's the weirdest one for you? The worst one for me was at Henry's place when I when took like four of those shroom caps and then did heaps of weed and then it all hit at once. And then I was so disorientated that I didn't know where I was. I, I would be talking to someone and then I'd realize that I was in a completely different room than I thought I was in. And then I like I started panicking a little bit and I had to sit down for like six hours. 
and yeah. wait for the high to come off because I was just, I literally couldn't even make my way to the toilet because I was that disorientated. My worst was when I did them the first time ever in Amsterdam, the truffles, and I asked for the strongest ones I could because they're legal there. None of my friends that are on the Europe trip did them, just me. They wanted to go out drinking, so they took me out drinking. I've taken them an hour earlier. I'm sitting at the bar, and then I was like, they don't do anything, so fuck it. I bought a White Widow, the strongest marijuana joint joint you could buy from the bar, smoked it. Next minute, I'm paralyzed seeing... Fairies. Like, the weirdest colors, like, as your whole perception goes. They want to go out clubbing. They take me clubbing. And then next minute I'm in a, a nightclub with mirrors. I'd be looking up at the mirror and seeing everyone in like the 1940s with top hats. It's all black and white. I look back down at the dance floor, look back up at the mirror. Then everyone's, just, there's blood everywhere. Everyone's dead. Then I've got this chick dancing next to me that is literally Betty Boo. The cartoon character Betty Boo is dancing next to me. Well, she was just out that night. And then they take me outside to the streets and they're drunk hooligans at 20 years old trying to push over this little smart car. We would have done it too if it weren't for your intervention. I was telling him not to. I was like, this is how we get arrested. And you're like, no, fuck it. I was like, no, no. Because I'm so paranoid on everything. And then they're like halfway almost over tipping this car. And then eventually like, okay, oh, Michael doesn't like it. Let's go. So they take me to a boat. They get on some stranger's boat on the canal. Oh, yeah. Start like breaking shit on their boat. I'm like, get off their boat. And then you take me to a bridge and there's a beanie on the bridge. And that beanie was a squirrel. Yeah, Ooh. I remember that. Yeah. And then, yeah, it was, don't do drugs. All right. Uh, this leads us to our uh, next segment, which has been renamed to... <laughs> <laughs> and of course this segment is just where we uh talk about an old <laughs> story <laughs> and uh and so we're going to talk about the time when we went camping and did a lot of fucked up shit because we were <laughs> fuck off dude i just want to piss in peace i'm sick of it if i need a pi- all right i'll go to the bathroom and <laughs> fuck you dude this is my house. We do this at my house. If I want to piss in a bottle, let me piss in a bottle. Don't make me piss all over myself I'm and a, the floor. I'm a guest. I'm a guest. You should let me shake your hand. Dude, you can see it coming out right now. Yeah, I saw it splashing around. Oh my God, it's all... I have to have a shower after this. God damn it. <gasps> anyway, so this is a... Uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm so uncomfortable. I just want to go to the toilet. I don't want to talk about no story right now. There's piss all over. Fuck you. <laughs> so we were about, what, 18? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were. We're like 18, 19. So we decided to all go camping. And of course, none of us know how to set up tents or any of that shit. And we went with a few friends who did and also a lot of friends who didn't. <laughs> we got there and uh, we we waited for the friends who knew how to set up tents to do that. All the while, we started drinking a lot, started drinking heaps. And of course, it wasn't long before we took a uh, car while we were fucking hammered. There was like a famous four-wheel drive track where we were staying. And it's like, I don't know, 8 p.m. now, so it's pitch black. And there were like four pissed people on the back of the ute, myself included, and three pissed people driving the ute as fast as they could. First time ever four-wheel driving up a mountain. Do you remember me falling out when we hit the bump and I ran, like, I, I took air and... Do you remember that? No. Oh, okay. We were that drunk. Yeah. I remember Minzy being really scared um, when we were in the tray and I was just pissing myself laughing as we were getting air over bumps and he was starting to look really scared because... And there's, like, cliffs on the other side. Like, you could... Yeah, it's not if you a fuck up, you, you roll the you like... But just survive if you roll it. Yeah, yeah, just get out, obviously, or jump out of the way. But anyway, so we did that, and we managed to survive somehow. Then uh, we get back to the campsite and start throwing bottles of uh, 
deodorant and, and butane cans and whatever we can find. So it would be like we'd throw something on the fire and then we'd all run back and hide. And sometimes they didn't explode. And we'd gotten like people over to our campsite that we didn't even know because obviously there was a party going on. So these strangers have come to have fun with these fucking wacky dudes taking everything too far, breaking shit just because they don't, they just don't want to, fuck, they, they don't care about our campsite. So they're happiest, happiest as fuck. Seeing us destroy it, <laughs> and then the next minute, yeah. So it, it's just getting everyone's just getting super fucked. Everyone like there's at this stage there's still like you know a lot of seats around our fire, a lot of wooden chairs, a lot of plastic crates, and um and so we start sort of you know the fire starts going down a bit, and we couldn't be fucked at getting more wood. So we just one by one start tossing all of the seating into the fire. And, you know, plastic crates, wooden chairs. Before you know it, there's literally no chairs left. So everyone is now standing around the campfire. It's up in flames, like three meters high. So so we went on the hunt for wood. And uh, I can't remember who I was with. I was with someone, but I found a tire, a, a, a full car tire. And, and the person I was with, no, 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 leave that. Like, it's really, the fumes are really like poisonous and toxic. Don't, don't. Shut throw that. up. And it, and it burns for hours. So I grabbed the tire <laughs> and, and sprinted back to camp and just tossed it straight on. And everyone was so annoyed because because we had to leave the campsite. Like we had to stand a long way away <laughs> from the campsite. The cops came the next day. Yeah, and so there was black smoke billowing from the fire, but it got the fire going. But inside tires is like steel string, lots of steel string, which I didn't know. So science. Well, yeah, it was worth it. Yeah, it was for the beneficial. Yeah, and so yeah, brain. it was. It was. Yeah. It was a, uh, a fucked night. And then to end the night, once the tire fire had died down a bit, you know, the drinking had continued. And then to, to top the evening off, Michael wanted to show everyone his little party trick <laughs> and stood uh, about two meters away from a dying fire, pulled his pants down and shot a, a very high pressure stream stream of shit straight into the middle of the fire like it looked like i don't don't even know how you'd explain it it was just a a cylinder stream of shit straight into the middle of the fire and burning shit doesn't smell very nice and there's like all these girls there (laughs) just so instantly hate us after that and so again (laughs) again we all had to leave the campsite temporarily yeah, and then the next morning, uh, you, you know, we all ended up passing out eventually. And then the next morning, the the cops came <laughs> because they'd had heard some complaints and they just wanted to see what happened. And we didn't really remember. And um, <laughs> Dude, apparently, <laughs> people had called up because we'd driven, not us, because we'd never drive, drink drive. But one of uh, a friend of a friend drank drove two other people's properties around the campsite. And we'd stolen their wood. And that's why the cops were called. Oh, and wow. they were like, oh, you got... Apparently, there's reports of people stealing and your car was identified with the number plate. Blah, blah, blah. And we just denied it. And if you ever get into trouble with police, never, ever admit it. Because as soon as you do, you're fucked. But if you deny it, they won't follow it up. They just gave us, oh, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll contact you at a later date. Blah, 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 blah. And then next, yeah, and we could have a shit fire with a tire in it and everything was okay and no one got fined. So that's what happened when we went camping. And, that's uh, our first time. We're going camping again this Thursday night with Shami and uh, Jaden and Jashan. So who knows what's going to happen there. But at the end of the day, fuck off. Yeah. This week... Uh, we're going to do a brand new segment called Prank Calls. Prank Calls, yeah. And it's a segment where we just do a prank call. So it's a new one. We'll call it the un the unmindful man. We'll call it the selfish bitch. Yeah, yeah. So he's just gonna try and order pizza. But I'll but just in- segue the conversation into things about myself. Hi, 
Hey, uh, would I be able to uh, place a pickup order, please? So, would you like to order a pickup order? Yes, please, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what would you like to order? Uh, would I be able to get a um, margarita pizza, please? Yeah, one margarita. Yeah, is that uh, what? What are the uh, different types of bases that comes on? Uh, yeah, so you can get classic as a medium base, deep pan as a thick base, and also a crispy. Ah, uh, classic. Um, but you can say extra for cheesy classic guy for a classic as well. Right. I'll uh, look. I'll get the uh, the classic uh, simply because it reminds me of the time my wife and I competed in the uh, classic uh, ballroom dancing competition uh, up north about four years ago, and we placed uh, fifth in the semi final. So uh, it's pretty pretty good achievement, I think, for uh, only practicing for about six months of the year there. So <laughs> I'll uh, oh, I see. yeah, yeah. So we'll I'll, I'll get I'll get the classic there if, if we could. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and uh, I'll so get I'll get a. Uh, you guys have Hawaiian pizzas, don't you? Sorry, do we do Hawaiian? Yeah, yeah, yeah just 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 a Hawaiian, please. Yeah. Um. So, would you like one Hawaiian pizza? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, one uh, one margarita. margarita. And, yep, and and one uh, Hawaiian. <laughs> it reminds me of a funny story, actually. Visited uh Hawaii for the fourth time uh last August, actually, and. We were there for about six oh, weeks, staying in a uh, five-star hotel, and uh, we actually ran into uh, Kelly Slater. Do yeah. you know the uh, the famous yeah, surfer? Yeah, yeah so uh, yeah. And anyway, uh, one thing led to another, and uh, you know I'm a bit talkative, and and uh, we 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 ended up having a a beer or two at, at the bar there actually with with Kelly Slater. So it was pretty uh, pretty awesome. So yeah. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, I'll get uh, the Hawaiian, and I'll also get um, the. Do you guys have any uh, meat meat lovers? Isn't it the uh, the one yeah, with all the meat? Yeah, barbecue meat lovers. Yeah, right. I'll um look. I'll I'll get um a meat lovers. <laughs> oh, you're gonna hate me for this, but it actually, also reminds me of a uh, a story there. Well, I used to uh, collect uh, different types of salami uh, uh, back in uh, back in London. And uh, I would uh, wholesale sell them to uh, all the butchers there, and uh, we actually got a uh, third place in the uh, in the district uh, salami competition there, three years running. So um, yeah, yeah. So we uh, we definitely know our uh, we definitely know our salami. You could say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hopefully it's the same here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> obviously I don't. My expectations aren't that high, but uh, yeah. So we we definitely. Uh, yeah. No, our salami. So, yeah. Um. Li- listen. Uh. What What sort of uh, sides do you guys have there? Sorry? What sort of uh, sides or uh, entrees or whatever you'd like to call them? What sort um, of? So we have garlic bread, which are quite common. Right. Um, you get cheesy garlic bread. Uh, garlic bread. It's like um bread, but like garlic butter mm, inside. Yum. That um. <laughs> Listen, okay. listen to me, bloody go on. But the, we actually had this uh, great garlic bread in Paris uh, not that long ago, actually. And um, yeah, they they served it with this great, really rich, dark bottle of red wine. I uh, I took a photo of it. I, I can um, oh, it's it was just so delicious. It went so well with this uh, garlic bread. I might uh, have to pop off to the uh, bottle shop and um, see if I can find something similar <laughs> to uh, to go with the. With the garlic bread, um, Tell the but uh, yeah, it was it was actually quite expensive that wine. Uh, it was it was about four hundred four hundred uh, fifty, yeah, four hundred and fifty euro or something for that bottle of wine. But. Yeah, yeah, and I'll just get a uh, a drink as well. Do you guys have uh, a Mountain Dew? Is it Mountain Dew? Talk about how you used to think it was called something else. Oh, Let look, look, I'll, I'll get the uh, a large uh, simply because. Oh, here I go again. Uh, not that long ago, we um we we climbed the mountain ranges in uh, in Nepal there, and oh my God, you would not believe the view from the top. Uh, we got to base camp after the uh, first evening and trekked all the way up to the very top. Uh, it took us about three days, and we we're with uh, one of the Sherpas there. So friendly, you would not believe. <laughs> One of the friendliest guys I've ever met. Didn't speak a word of English. <laughs> but yeah, he took us all the way to the top there and um, the view was just outstanding. You wouldn't believe it. So um, 
Yeah, we're quite physically fit, so uh, yeah, we like to keep fit and healthy. So you know, every now and then we treat ourselves to a little bit of a pizza or something. But uh, yeah, so we're uh, we're very much looking forward to uh, to tasting your uh, your meal this evening. <laughs> Yes, yes, that's about yeah. that, that's so, about right um, then. So it comes to thirty five ninety and should be ready in fifteen minutes. Can I just grab your name, please? Brought up in is, is it how much thirty five is that is that eight? Oh well, that's yeah. that's that's so great. Actually it was around forty three dollars, but I had a deal we can get three things with our friend for thirty five ninety. Can so I can I just can I just say quickly, uh, your customer service, uh, wow, it's uh, it's quite impeccable. It actually reminds me of this time okay. we went to a uh, Michelin star okay. restaurant in um, in Rome and uh, yeah, it was uh, you might know the chef, he was called Romo Contin. And uh, yeah, he uh, he is just this really renowned international chef and he cooks the greatest pasta and yeah, your your customer uh, service honestly actually reminds me of the uh, the front of house there. Her name was um Payen. And uh, yeah, she was just a lovely lady. So uh, yeah, I, I would I would I would go as far as saying that your customer service is uh, is right up there. So you you're doing very well, <laughs> doing very well. I'm, I'm glad you did. Thank you. Yeah, that's try. no worries at all there. So yeah, take that on board. Yeah, sure. My my name is Clancy McLaren. Sorry, how do you spell it? Clancy is spelled C A L L N two seven fourteen hours of a n s w e two seven the number two and seven at the end they're silent uh this is a pickup please uh, yeah and and mclaren clancy mclaren c a double l a n C S double E two seven. Okay, so C A double L A N. C S double E. Yep. Two seven, and the two and seven are silent there. So just be sure to pass that on to the person calling out the order. That obviously you don't pronounce the uh, two seven at the end. It's just a silent thing it's a, a bulgarian thing which is where my heritage is from actually i was um i was born there and uh sort of migrated around eastern europe for a while with uh with my mother and yeah. father and uh, two brothers and uh probably in uh what's it 1997 we uh, made the move down to uh, sydney and uh, yeah we set up shop there and um we bought a small little uh little convenience store there well my father did and um, yeah. yeah, it wasn't long after that we all uh, we opened a, a gourmet little um, little uh, food store, and yeah, before you know, one thing led to another, and um, yeah, I got into the oh. industry that I'm in now, and yeah, I just sort of critique yeah. food and stuff. So yeah, it's, it's great. So yeah, thanks. Yeah. Okay, that's really nice to hear about the name. Yeah. Oh, you should have kept it. You should have kept a reaction from that. Dude, I wanted you to tell her your favorite I just don't color. like completing the order because yeah, then yeah, they no. start working. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's the whole point. That's the whole point. And that was a long prank call. We don't care about them. You know that. That was a long prank call. <sighs> anyway, dude. <laughs> Bulgaria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Wow, that's All a right. short podcast. Once it edit, once we we edit this down, it will be very short. All right, guys, that is the end of episode number thirty-one. Don't tell anyone who we are, otherwise we will come to your fucking house and bash your fucking skull in. Ah! Don't ever tell anyone. That you're ah! Don't look at us. Don't show anyone. Don't mention our names, otherwise <clears throat> we will fucking kill your whole fucking family. You fucking dogs. That's a threat. Yeah. That's a fucking threat. And that's what makes us the best. <laughs>